All right, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube, NES Ruler, and welcome to a brand new review, and this time around we'll be checking out a film that was sent to me reviewed by Eureka Entertainment, and you can pick this up on Blu-ray at all your favorite online retailers in the United Kingdom, and on websites like Diabolic DVD here in the United States. It is a film from the year 1994 from Hong Kong titled Burning Paradise. So... I'm very excited to be working with Eureka, talking about some films that they are putting out. And this is the first one, a uh, film from 1994 from Hong Kong that is super, you could tell, it's super influential by the early 70s Shaw Brothers films. Uh, it's not your uh, later 80s and 90s Hong Kong films like In the Line of Duty. It's not those kind of action films totally influenced by... Shaw Brothers and uh, their style and their martial arts, but it has a 90s twist to it. It's a lot more violent and a little bit more modern in its technique, but it is very Shaw Brothers. So we basically follow a, um, a Shaolin brother who is on the run from the uh, Manchu government. Uh, he is, at the beginning of the film, we see this bloody battle between uh, the Shaolin and the Manchu and uh, the Manchu is now pursuing all the Shaolin who are on the run from the government. And that's where we uh, meet our main character and his uh, master. And they're on the run. And this guy's a total badass. He, he, he fights his way through uh, lots of violence in this movie, especially in the opening sequence. It's very gory, very bloody. A lot of effects, which I appreciate. I think you... Guys who are horror fans will appreciate it as well. Ultimately, he comes across this hut in the middle of the desert with his master. And inside, there's a woman uh, that all three of them ultimately, well, two of them get captured. And they are brought to this um, Red Lotus Temple, which is very, uh, uh, very interesting set piece. Um, it's very <coughs> labyrinthy. Um, very similar to something that you would maybe see in Dark City. It has that that cyberpunk kind of dark look to it. Very cool, very dreary, very great uh, looking set piece and set design. And at this um, temple is a lot of Shaolin people who have gotten captured. And it's um, ran by this mystical leader. He has some sort of magic powers that we learn about as the film goes on. Ultimately, uh, our main character falls into this pit, and he is um, uh, tasked to get out of this pit and defeat this master and bring name back to the Shaolins. And along the way, there's more crazy fights, crazy set design, crazy gore, and everything like that. Now, my thoughts on Burning Paradise, it's a fun film. Did I lose interest at some points in the film? Yeah, I think it does drag a little bit too much, a little bit too... Uh, heavy character driven even for me and you know me I love heavy character driven pieces but I feel like even at some points it drags on a little bit with its character development but I feel like it makes up with some pretty decent action scenes and some like I said set pieces and set design and um, some pretty good effects so is it as good as maybe the 70s early 70s Shaw classics no Definitely not as good as that in the martial arts aspect, but it definitely has enough going on for it that I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, it's not one that I'm going to be recommending and saying it's a classic that everybody um, is going to love, but I feel like it has a lot going for it that people who are fans of Shaw Brothers and uh, late, early 70s to 80s um, martial art films from Hong Kong are probably going to dig this one. And, you know, Shaw Brothers are getting a lot of um, a lot of releases right now, which is great. Uh, you Pretty soon you'll be able to see pretty much most of the Shaw Brothers library out on Blu-ray, which is really fantastic. So I feel like a lot of more people are probably going to start getting into these films. So this is a late film, like I said, 94, directed by Ringo Lam, who's a pretty um, popular and famous uh, director from Hong Kong from that era. So a uh, really nice package here from Eureka. You get your slip case, and you also get a slip case, like I said. And then the artwork is the same as the slip case. The back is the same. And inside, 
you have the artwork and you get a nice booklet here that describes the film, talks about the film, and some of the um, people who made this release possible. On the other side, you have the original Hong Kong artwork. So, uh, transfer-wise, film looks very good. Um, you can tell it is a brand new uh, 2K transfer from the original negative. So it looks very good. Um, it sounds good. So really good technical package here from uh, Eureka. Like I said at the beginning, this is a Region B release. So it is Region B lock. So unless you have a Region Free Blu-ray player or a Region Free or a Region B player, you're not going to be able to play this one. But it's 2023 and. Region free Blu-ray players are pretty affordable now, so I think most collectors have that. So um, if you guys are interested in checking out Burning Paradise, like I said, you can pick it up at all your favorite online retailers in the UK and in the US. You can pick it up at places like Diabolic DVD. So that's my review of Burning Paradise. If you guys like this review, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash nesruler22. I want to thanks again, Eureka, for sending me this release. I look forward to checking out some more of their films for you guys. So thank you again, and I shall talk to you guys soon. See you guys.